The chemosphere growing out of its steep hillside isn't just one of Lautner's best-known houses. It really is one of the best-known houses in Los Angeles. Perch on a single concrete column, it is really a brilliant structural solution for this very difficult site. The column grows out of a 19-foot diameter concrete foundation poured directly into the bedrock. It carries a column which is about 30 feet tall, 5-foot diameter, with a 2-foot hollow for water supply and sewer. And that column, in turn, carries eight steel beams that form the octagon, the platform, that are supported by steel braces. There is a funicular that starts at the bottom of the hill and carries you up very slowly through the site and to the entrance of the house. So you have time to explore and examine the underside of the building as you move up and uh, think about the relationship of the building to its site. It uh, really just kind of grows out of this site without disturbing it too much. And uh, you have a chance to examine or study the relationship between the building and its larger landscape, the uh, view of the San Fernando Valley. Once you arrive at the top of the hill, there is a bridge that connects the hill to this house. You move through a terrace that is kind of tucked into the living space and from there into the open living space. The living room, dining room and kitchen areas occupy about one half of the house. They face north, they face the view, and uh, the bedrooms are the small pie-shaped spaces facing south, facing the hill. So you have this very beautiful distinction between the public spaces looking out over the valley and the small rooms looking directly into the hill. The whole house is covered with a wooden roof construction made up of uh, eight curved glue lamp beams and they uh, sit on the steel and they are tied together at the center with a steel compression ring, which is also where you have a skylight that lets light into the center of the house. So you have balanced light between the light coming in at the skylight and the light coming in from these large expanses of windows overlooking the San Fernando Valley. The house was built in 1960 for Leonard Malin, who was a young aerospace engineer with four children, a family of six. He met Lautner because Lautner built a house directly below the chemosphere, the Harpel house. And uh, Lautner developed uh, various different schemes for this house. The first one was a sort of prismatic element sitting on the hill. The uh, second one was a uh, linear arrangements are stapled to the hill with these uh, arced uh, uh, supports. And uh, it wasn't until later that Lautner started to introduce a mushroom structure and moved part of the program to the, of the house onto this mushroom. Lautner had explored these mushroom structures as early as the late 1940s. Uh, most of these projects were not built. One exception is the Sheets apartment building in Westwood, where he has these wooded platforms sitting on concrete columns, uh, which is quite different from what he used at the chemosphere, where the whole skeleton of the house is a concrete column, steel, and the wood structure that then forms the roof, an extremely elegant structural solution for this very difficult site. <laughs> 